Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now and in this session, I'm gonna take you through Hasura. Wait, if you are thinking that this is something, a new plugin or something like that, no. Hasura is really very popular for GraphQL and if you even don't know about GraphQL, completely fine. If you don't wanna write code, completely fine. This thing is a kind of low code, best low code example that we can say. Uh, because if you are a front end developer from Angular, React, Flutter, or wherever it may be, uh, this thing is for you because you don't need to write backend APIs and you are completely ready to create your own uh, server using Hasura. This is open source, by the way, and GraphQL built by Facebook. If you are not familiar about that, so I'm gonna use it on both the things locally and on the server as well because Hasura provides their own server which is a kind of free and let's deep dive into it. So I'm gonna click here on login screen and once I click on login it will ask for the GitHub login and Google login. If you are logged in already you don't have to worry about uh, rest of the things. This is the beautiful UI that you will be greeted with. You just need to click on create project. Here we go it is available for a uh, free tire and standard tire as well both the things that you can prefer to go with uh 99 it's uh not that good but it's fine to get started with because they provide a full-time support so i'm gonna choose this free version uh because it's really very really easy and within few seconds in just one click you can ready to go uh i haven't paused this video yet because this is super fast because see uh, now all you need is database this is a kind of a uh, graphql ui you might have familiar with if you are using graphql uh, from a mobile if you are not familiar with it let me show you uh, what are the possibilities of uh, this thing just go to the data imagine if you have a database any database postgres database just choose your connector from here mysql bigquery uh this cockroach db uh and i'm gonna use postgres i don't have postgres for now what i'll do i'm gonna create new database i have a free instance i can use one neon instance before that they used to provide heroku instance but nowadays heroku uh, like uh, heroku integration support has been deprecated that's why they have a new type with neon and it is a serverless uh, postgres you can imagine up to four uh, gb of table size that they can provide I'm not that sure but this is also really very super fast so you can see we are ready with the complete setup now uh this is on server now if you want to go to your local system simply search for hasura on local docker you will be greeted with this uh ui and these docs are really very helpful and really very really easy to set up because all you need is to have a docker install inside your system okay to containerize uh, multiple things like postgres uh, graphql and your hasura so i'm gonna name it uh, low code for now because this is i think which is kind of best example to have a low code and this is where i'm gonna open uh, my terminal using command plus j or control plus backtick and all you need to do is to paste this uh, CURL or wget command according to the package that you have installed inside your window or, or whatever the machine that you are using right now. So it's it's taking while till then. Uh, this is just a Docker Compose file. It should not take while, but I'm not sure about the server response. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna continue with creating new table, and here I'm gonna create a new table like users. It should be user columns this is same as your postgres database this is postgres database so feel free to go with the id normal id uh, which is auto incremented then go with the created at updated at kind of fields and go with the normal fields like name email and stuff with the text uh, type and uh, i'm also gonna use my password okay so password that will be always should be uh, like uh encrypted and of course email should be unique so i'm gonna check this this is it okay you can choose foreign keys if you want like choose your table or uh, to which table you wanna uh, do the things what what are the things you need to restrict and all the stuff you can choose here check constraint of course it's really very important i'm gonna click on add without wasting any time and i'm gonna go to my uh, api console again so we have 
this uh, we can insert new row quickly but we'll do this insertion and all the things using graphql so i'm gonna go to my close this up go to the api inside api you can see this is normal post api you just need to grab this use it anywhere like post uh with uh, your uh, postman sorry uh, so use it with your postman and you have this secret key that you can clearly see here i'm going to show you because i'm going to delete this one in a while so don't share this of course and let me go there here are the mutations okay like if i want to insert something i'm going to click here on insert i'm going to insert my email i'm going to insert my name only i'm not going to insert my password okay so my email would be m at gmail.com okay and my password my name would be m okay because we don't have anything set up so on conflict returning you can choose if, even if you not aware about this thing you can directly choose here like in return what you want these all things you want and like you can choose like this so here we go click on here and it's gonna create a new entry inside your database email violation uh so select select can insert user argument or not one not null violation okay what i need to do is i need to use name email and password as well because it's a kind of validation test the password would be my m at one two three would be great for me uh, let me see if i get another pop-up or not so yeah so uh, we have inserted one record now i want to see that what i have inserted so if you can see this uh, using the your code explorer okay if you want to uh, provide this source code to somebody fr from front end side just copy this thing and uh, like paste uh, to your front end developer like he'll take care about the rest of the things like that's easy it is okay you can see and now you can choose your languages like typescript uh, especially and javascript uh, two languages are here but there are lots of uh, clients that you can uh, prefer to go with in a front end it's all your choice by the way so let's go back and let's go and select this query okay because i don't want to insert something i want my query so i'll go i'll select what i want email only i want email of all the users that i have inserted select here i'll get my results okay and you will get this side by side query okay this is all you need to do nothing else this is very easy i'm telling you now the most important thing how you can control your data password suppose i don't want somebody to see my password or lots of other stuff and if i want to trigger my events if i want to uh hit actions this actions is another cool thing where you can implement your business logic by the way uh in your own language so it's all your choice to uh just do r and stuff remote schemas how you can connect the remotes okay which kind of which can be external graphql service which can be merged to hazura to provide undefined graphql api i'm not that aware about this thing but uh, definitely this is very useful after that uh we can go with another cool thing uh which is let's go to the data first and let's see what are the things that we have okay so uh here we need to go to allow list you can see this allow list here just click here you can set the permissions from here and where you have a collection not added by the way i need to add some collection uh this is right operation operation i'm not aware about this thing but of course we can control the data okay that's what i know and uh, queries outbound okay great so yeah you feel free to explore your things if you manage thing you can add your users kind of go there right change great let's do it locally by the way so now here i have a docker compose file now i'm going to use sudo docker compose up hyphen d in detach mode means or you can use sudo docker hyphen compose hyphen d uh so make sure that docker is running inside your system okay if you don't have it simply search for docker.com hit enter and you will get this option just download it and hit enter 
uh, it will ask for the password if you are using your linux machine mac machine it will take a while to pull the images i already did it uh, so it's going to use my uh, images that i already have and once you have this then you can see this hasura is running and this is running now if i go back to my docs you can see localhost colon 8080 and slash console that i'm going to paste here and you can see we have the same ui on my local instance so if i have this on my local i can go anywhere with ec2 azure vm or google container i'm not sure where you wanna uh, use this whatever the server you are going to use like droplets whatever it may be so here we go the uh, rest of the things is really very easy let me show you even though it's a little bit of things that we take care about like if you go to the data uh here you just you use environment variable and this environment variable that you will get it from here uh this is my environment variable feel free to grab this thing paste here click here on create connection and database uh, name is mandatory and i name it uh, hasura okay and uh, click here on connect database so yeah here we go so like the way you can connect to locally and if i go back to uh my api okay server side usage uh, server side so this is how you can uh, like do all the things in mutation uh, mutation means you can mutate like delete insertion deletion this kind of stuff you can do in mutate and in query we can get the data and of course you can uh, create new tables and use the relationship between them so it's all your choice how you use it but uh, the main uh, objective of this today's session is to tell you guys that hasura is really very easy to use really very really easy to design a smaller microservices so please use it and this is it for this today's tutorial thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed and don't uh like you can use this thanks button as well if you want so in order to like contribute even one dollar is enough to grow our channel thank you so much Tada, bye bye see you soon in next video